It's uh, very good at the physical controls, uh, moving, steering. The moment I break will be to see the blind side of that cone sensor on top. If it were spinning now, it would uh, make an extremely detailed image of each of you uh, many, many times a second and with millions of points of data. Our commercial partners that are uh, top of line radars and uh, lasers, and these are the kinds of sensors that uh, can be buried in, not just that at all, but the uh, vehicle has about 2,000 test miles in relative conditions, autonomous. Uh, overall, the team uh, accumulated over years would have tens of thousands of miles of uh, accumulated autonomous miles, including in much higher performance uh, conditions. Things like uh, vehicle passing, this is quite a machine in making those kinds of decisions. Uh, big variable tomorrow will be wind. I feel it coming up now. Highest winds of the week have been in the low teens. Tomorrow is predicted to break the 20s with much higher gusts. Part of the course is dirt. It will have some effect on some of the sensitive sensors. It's pretty special uh, to uh, have a gang like this. It is authentically uh, a united team. Uh, are there any curiosities? Yes. What's the overall budget? Can you give us a number? Uh, no. Uh, what's the overall budget? Uh, we're priceless. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the end of the day, the real winners here are going to be all of the consumers of cars and trucks around the world who truly value the freedom and autonomy that come with owning personal transportation. Because um, together with, with people like GM, we share the vision zero. We think that it is possible that in the future, cars can go around without having accidents. That we can support the driver in a way that accidents are truly avoidable. Uh, so, you know, back to the opening comment, luck is for the ill-prepared, and I, uh, I don't think we need it tomorrow. By the way, I hope it's really dusty, because cab machines always win in those really uh, dirty environments. <laughs> <laughs>